Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. This time we are again combining two controller types. Yeah? This time we are going to combine a proportional controller, again a P controller, yeah? and we are combining it with a D controller, differential controller. Yeah? So we are building a PD controller. Okay, so this is actually what we are going to do right now. We're building of a P controller and a D controller, the PT controller. And again, the PT controller is something which is paralyzing, paralyzing, parallelizing. The two elements are parallel, okay? So again, we have the two parallel elements, which, which are, of course, the P element and the D element, or the DT1 element, actually. Yeah? So there is the P controller, yeah? there is the D controller, And those two are summarized. Here we do have the deviation. This is split. There's the output of the P. There's the output of the D. Both things are summarized, and here's our y. Yeah. So here's our here's our correcting variable. Yeah. Here's our control deviation. Yeah. So what is what is the total transfer function? Yeah. F regulator P D. This is actually the transfer function of the of the proportional control, which is Kp, yeah, plus the transfer function of the differential controller, which is and now I'm using this SDD divided by one plus st1, yeah. and we are using the same the same trick, let's call it, yeah, like in the BI controller we will factor out KP. So we have this KP, then we have big bracket, 1 plus, and now it's STV yeah, divided by 1 plus ST1. Yeah. And this TV equals td divided by kp, of course. Yeah. Because if we bring this back in, we must hear td. Yeah. So, kp, proportional gain factor, t1 is just a filter time, and tv is called Vorhaltezeit in German, and, and in English sometimes lead time. Yeah, or often also derivative time. Okay. These are the terms. What does it do? Well, basically it's a P controller which adds a little bit stability. Yeah. And this is why we said the P controller can only be used really on special special systems. And we said the D controller long alone cannot be used at all. Yeah? And now I'm combine, combining a P controller, which can only be, uh, be used at special systems, where we have an integrating part, we say the summarizing part inside the system, and I'm adding a D element, which cannot even be used at all alone. Yeah? What does it mean? What does it, what does it, well, this is a controller, which is indeed used at pretty, pretty 
sophisticated, hard to control, unstable systems. Such there are systems out there which do not have only inside one integrator, they integrate two times. Yeah? And those systems are really hard to control. And there this derivative part, this is really bringing us a lot of stability. So this is actually a P controller for a really unstable system yeah, with a double integrator inside. Here this D element brings us stability. Yeah? So the B to BD controller is a special controller for hard to control systems. That's it. Yeah? It's not alone on standard systems. Hmm, it's not that interesting for us. Yeah? But on special occasions with double integrator, the controller of choice. So, next time we're going to talk about, finally going to talk about the full combination of all those terms. Yeah? So we talked about a PI controller, we talked about a PT controller. Next time we're going to talk about a PID controller. So we are combining all continuous controller types into one controller. And then we see, ooh, there we can adjust quite something. By the way, adjust. What are the adjustable values here? Well, this is this KP. This is this TV and this T1, usually. Yeah? These are the parameters of a PT controller. These you can adjust. Yeah, like I said, next time BAT controller, we have a little bit more to adjust. Yeah. So, yeah. And over time we will learn how. Yeah. But well, you will see. You will see in the videos in the future. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.